Hi, this is Tony Nasca with DoveNet Software. I'm going to be showing you through a series of videos how to use the Cut Sheet Submittal tool. You'll notice that it's coming off of a project on our diagram here, but you can also now use it as part of a proposal. We're looking at a project editor, and you'll notice we have a project here and it's got several lines in them. The first few lines here, right here, you notice I use the T line and then P for toggle print proposal. And this turns off from a regular proposal these additional these lines. So and then on here we notice we have a we have a common document manager line, common one for the cover page, because the cover page is going to be used against multiple projects. So you only have to have one cover page in your definition. And we use the CSP-COM1 for the cover page. And then we use another part number, DMM CSP proposal, for where I want to print the proposal when I'm printing a combined proposal with cut sheets. And then we use another, another, we use another print toggle to turn back on printing. Again, so we're, we're toggling off these on a regular proposal, but they will print during a cut sheet proposal. And then we have our materials here. So you notice how we have various different efforts products here like so. And then we go back into this toggle mode again because we're, we're, we're turning off some printing here, but you notice I have a battery calculations page, a current draw calculations page, a certificate page, and a warranty page. So these are all pages that I've turned off on a regular proposal, but they will print during a cut sheet proposal. So if we go to print right now, and we just do preview for purposes of this. And we don't use these new options over here. We just say print proposal. You'll notice that the system dutifully didn't print any print those hidden lines. It just printed our parts and our E1 item like so. Okay. But in fact, if we say cut sheet proposal and I'm just going to select all the items like so. First creates a PDF and then it combines them with all the cut sheets. And so now here we have our proposal with cut sheets, table of contents, the actual proposal, then our cut sheets. And then we have our battery calculations, current draw calculations. And then we have our certificate. And then we have our warrant document. I also want you to notice one little thing about the editor. And that is these specific items here. You'll notice we toggled off the printing. And you notice we use the CSP body one and body two. So the body ones are specific to this project, whereas the common two and three can be used across multiple projects. So again, up here, our, our cover page is common, and certificate and warranty are common. You can have up to 30 project specific documents and 10 common documents across multiple projects. The next tape will talk about how to set up the individual parts.